and external responsibilities with robust performance and clear understanding of current and future challenges. We need leaders and commanders with active analytical and objective minds as well as capacities and competencies for innovation, creativity, resourcefulness, adaptiveness, and of course transformation. The constitutional roles of the armed forces of Nigeria are spread out in section 217 of the 1999 Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria in these words, and I quote, there shall be an armed forces for the Federation, which shall consist of an army, a navy, an air force, and such other branches of the armed forces of the Federation as may be established by an act of the National Assembly. The Federation shall subject to an act of National Assembly made in that behalf, equip and maintain the armed forces as may be considered adequate and effective for the purpose of defending Nigeria from external aggression maintaining its territorial integrity and securing its borders from violation on land, sea or air, suppressing insurrection and acting in aid of civil authorities to restore order when called upon to do so by the President, but subject to such conditions as may be prescribed by an act of the National Assembly, and performing such other functions as may be prescribed by an act of the National Assembly. Flowing from this constitutional provision, the Nigerian National Defense Policy still place that the Nigerian military shall function as a combined armed forces of Nigeria. The essence of this is to ensure rapid deployment and response capacity in protecting the nation. The Nigerian Army is also to operate on its own in special operations, conventionally with the Nigerian Navy and Nigerian Air Force. It is also stated in the National Defense Policy that the Nigerian Army maintains a highly mobile force with the capability for conventional nuclear, biological, and chemical warfare, as well as counter-revolutionary operations. These tasks, we all know, are additional to maintaining a capability for creating our operations, for carrying out operations in all environments, in and outside Nigeria. From the above provision, the Nigerian Army drew its defense priorities as to defend the territorial integrity of Nigeria, to deter attack by any nation, and should deterrence fail to bring any war to a rapid conclusion in favor of Nigeria, to provide aid to civil power, global peace initiatives, and for any other engagement or agreements that may be entered into from time to time by the federal government of Nigeria. The Nigerian Army then drew up its mission statement as the Nigerian Army is to be highly trained, pro properly manned, equipped, motivated, and led to successfully fulfill its role in the defense of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and her interests. This is followed by the Nigerian Army mission statement, which is to win all land battles in defense of the territorial integrity of Nigeria, protect and advance her national interests, and accomplish other tasks in aid to civil authority. Gentlemen, you will agree with me that the constitutional duties, vision and mission statements which require human resource development needs a dedicated, robust and effective intellectual resource for the Nigerian army to drive them. This intellectual resource is also needed to provide research solutions to the ever increasing and evolving problems facing the Nigerian army which today include lack of adequate and timely information, geostrategic challenges posed by climate change, socio-economic challenges posed by criminals, militants, and terrorists, etc., budgetary constraints, inadequate logistics, inadequate manpower, psychological schism between each and the public, complexity of civilian protection, especially in counter-terrorism and counter-insurgency operations, weak local industrial base leading to dependence on important critical platforms and equipment, perverse role of the media through the internet as well, negative attitude of non-governmental organizations and civil society organizations, scarce capacity building opportunities for personnel. These and other similar challenges need 
A Nigerian army richly endowed with intellectual resource because Nigerian army needs, among others, adequate funding, adequate manpower and quality and quantity, strong public civilian support, full capacity to conduct and sustain protracted land operations independently and jointly with other services, full capacity for counter terrorism and counter insurgency, full capacity to, for mountain and riverine operations, full capacity for information warfare and cyberspace security, full capacity for conducting expeditionary operations locally and, inter and internationally in support of Nigeria's foreign policy. Let us now turn to the Nigerian Army Resource Center and why it comes in. The making of the Nigerian Army Resource Center. When I assumed office in July 2015, I made all round assessment of the Nigerian Army's needs and capabilities. Four major things came out clearly. Poor state of platforms and equipment, serious manpower deficiencies, very low morale, and absence of real intelligence resource to engineer human resource development. The need therefore became very compelling to tackle these problems and optimize extant capacity while strategizing for all run improvement including increased combat efficiency. We quickly did our best to improve the availability of platforms and equipment with the great support of Mr. President. With this and my many visits to the troops in the world theatre and, and their trenches. We also quickly restored fighting morale in our troops. We also faced the issue of manpower deficiency and got the not to raise the bar. And in 2017 from 2018, we recruited 6,000 at a go for the first time. We also faced the issue of quality of personnel, especially the commanders, commandants, and general officers commanding. Initially, we held regular conferences, seminars, retreats, and workshops. We also sent several officers on professional and academic trainings at home and abroad. These were part of my desire to build a highly sustainable and functional army that is knowledge-driven. And that would be the most decisive and land force, at least in Africa, being capable of taking on present and future challenges with ease. We were thinking ahead because the Nigerian Army is a growing organization with expanding tax and yet in short supply of men and women of high intellectual capacities and competencies apart from tactical combat. Every nation today wants its army to be led and commanded by officers that are highly intellectual, innovative, creative and resourceful, with capacity for quick and sound judgment. This task needs a dedicated intellectual resource. All this contributed to my decision to, of course, establish the Nigerian Army Resource Center in November 2015. And it has the following mandate, vision, and mission. The responsibility of the Nigerian Army Resource Center is essentially to provide solutions to issues confronting the Nigerian Army and generate ideas to enable the Nigerian Army execute tasks assigned to it. These ideas are to emanate from cutting edge researches, brainstorming sessions involving seasoned serving and retired officers, and erudite scholars from the academia and related research institutes. The Nigerian Army Resource Center was to publish journals and books that serve as reputable outlets for the dissemination of his research findings. It is to serve as a think tank and a repository of the Nigerian Army's operations, documentation, and events. The Nigerian Army Resource Center was also set up to pursue human resource development through the importation of knowledge and skills. The center is also to showcase new inventions, promote interdisciplinary studies, and issue annual reports. It is also to offer necessary advice to the Chief of Army staff to enhance sound decision making and policy formulation. Vision and mission. From its mandate, the Army Resource Center's vision was set out as 
to become a leading think tank and center of excellence with the capacity to conduct research, advance knowledge and profile solutions to topical contemporary issues on defense, security and sustainable development. Its mission is to provide research-based solutions to defense and security issues while enhancing human resource development. The Nigerian Army Resource Center currently has seven directories and one consultancy outfit. And indeed, the eight directorate is being worked out right now. This includes Directorate of Research, Innovation and Campaign Analysis, Directorate of Training, Directorate of Administration, Directorate of Communication and Information Technology, Directorate of Finance, Directorate of Library, Archives and Publication, then the Nigerian Army Resource Center Consult. The journey so far. Overall, the Nigerian Army Resource Center can be said to have done well within the three years of its existence. It has organized several conferences, retreats, workshops, and roundtables for the Nigerian Army. The most outstanding ones of which include the International Seminar on Asymmetric Security Challenges, which was attended by 24 world nations in October 2017. The workshop organized for General South Commanding Commanders and Commandants of Nigerian Army Schools and the stock taking retreat for Commanders of, of Operation Lafayette Dole. The Nigerian Army Resource Center has lived up to expectation in offering advice and providing data for enhancing to Army staff decisions and policies. I have also approved the Nigerian Army Resource Center to run a course in April 2019 in collaboration with the Harvard Kennedy School where 40 participants will be trained in areas of adaptive leadership. <coughs> Let me quickly state here that apart from Aga Khan University in Kenya, the Nigerian Army Resource Center is the only institute in Africa to achieve this feat. While there are several research, <laughs> while there are several research institutes and universities, faculties and departments without donors, the Nigerian Army Resource Center has floated a reputable journal, the Nigerian Army Resource Center Digest, Journal of the Nigerian Army Resource Center. I must state here that I am very proud of this feat. Of this feat. The fourth edition, which came out in November 2018, houses 17 World Research Articles, six of which were authored by outstanding university professors and eight by top-ranking military officers six Army Generals, one Naval Air Admiral, and one Air Force Air Vice Marshal. I was given the first slot in it with my paper on Kotele Boko Haram Terrorism, the challenges and approaches of the Nigerian Army, for which I am grateful to the center. I particularly noted the article on the rising phenomenon of spiritual crimes, attacks and threats to human and national security contributed by Professor Morrissey. The article says something new and is a typical example of what new knowledge is about for solving social problems facing the nation and humanity. The paper on expanding and intensifying terrorism threats in Africa by Major General Hamaki as well as that of quality culture by Rear Admiral Arade and that on protection of civilians in counter-insurgency operations authored by Major Yusuf were very refreshing and forward-looking. The Nigerian Army Resource Center is currently executing the language policy of the Nigerian Army by conducting lessons, uh, lesson classes that teach relevant foreign and Nigerian languages. The center is now carrying out the nine-month training program of the first course of Nigerian Army officers on strategic management and policy studies which is geared towards equipping officers with higher policy management and entrepreneurial, ent entrepreneurial capacities and competencies. The Nigerian Army Resource Center has performed well in human resource development for the Nigerian Army Armed Forces of Nigeria and the civil society. It has also been providing resource persons for national and international conferences, such as the recent summit of African Land Forces, and the recent workshop on citizens in uniform organized by the Ministry of Defense in Lagos. Since 
Knowledge can be generated through external acquisition and or internal knowledge creation. The Nigerian Army Resource Center has done very well in collaboration with other domestic and foreign institutions and organizations, which include National Defense College, Abuja, National Institute for Policy and Strategic Studies, JOS, National Institute of International Affairs, Institute of Conflict Resolution, Amadou Bello University, Nigerian Defense Academy, University of Lagos, University of Suka, University of Ibadan, University of the Pan African University in Lagos, Smart Danfodio University in Sokoto, University of Meduguri, Modibo Adama University, Yola, Peace Building and Development Foundation, South Tel Technologies Limited, LACLIC Nigeria Limited, Royal United Services Institute, United Kingdom, Development Concept and Doctrine Center, also United Kingdom, the Harvard Kennedy School, Boston, United States of America, United Services Institute in India, Africa Center, Atlantic Council, United States, and Africa Center for Strategic Studies in the United States of America. This number in three years, I must say, is a very impressive effort in national and global outreach recognition and acceptance. It tells us that our vision was right and gladdens our hearts. There are, however, areas in which the Nigerian Army Resource Center is yet to really make meaningful impact, such as cutting edge research and showcasing of new interventions from innovations. This is not surprising as the center itself is yet to have fully functional intellectual resources. There is also little or no national allocation for research and development uh, innovations, but this we are working along with the relevant government agencies to provide adequate funding in that regard. We are equally right now working on a brand new complex for this uh, center. Work has already uh, started just about a few meters from this location to my left, outside the complex here. Gentlemen, in conclusion, and of course, our way forward, the Nigerian Army is currently in continuous modernization process, acquiring new platforms and equipment, increasing manpower and rapid transformation, and capacity building of both this entire army, especially its leaders and commanders. We have no choice because one of the core competencies of strategic leadership is envisioning a desired future for the organization he leads and nurtures. Thus, our vision remains the building of a Nigerian army that is more responsive to contemporary scripture challenges. Ultimately, these visions will serve to direct, align, and inspire action from officers and soldiers of the Nigerian army, as well as guide decision making to lead the Nigerian army to our desired future. As I have always maintained, the leadership position that nature has bestowed on Nigeria in the West African subregion and indeed the entire African continent has thrust upon us the additional responsibility to pursue peace, security, stability and sustainable development in the region. This burden cannot be ignored or wished away. Therefore, our military, our military generally and the Nigerian army in particular will continue to be strong and valid to meet our internal and external security tasks and challenges to ensure that we are not found Wanting at any given time and in, the, and in any field, the Nigerian Army has no choice than to be a knowledge driven organization. This requires the diverse services and input of all intellectual resource persons. Purposeful leadership is sacrosanct in building enduring institutions. In the same vein, the Nigerian Army must continue to evolve and build capacities and competencies along with the dynamics of society. We must be prepared at all times to adapt to changing circumstances while projecting into the future in order to ensure that we sustain and continuously improve on our capability to meet our constitutional and professional roles. Again, this requires the input of intellectual resource. It is high, it is high caliber manpower that can drive the Army Resource Center and deliver the human resource development and intellectual resource needed by the 21st century. 
It is high caliber manpower that will also enable Nigeria Army Resource Center to provide Nigeria Army quality real-time advice and solutions to nagging problems facing it, as well as generate new knowledge for the continuous transformation of the Nigerian Army. It is this high caliber manpower that will enable the Nigerian Army Resource Center to develop a robust human resource base that can impact on the Nigerian Army, the efforts of Nigeria, the Nigerian nation, and indeed humanity at large. Unfortunately, by the nature of our job and visible shortage in the Nigerian Army of such high caliber manpower, for the establishment of this all important intellectual resource at the Nigerian Army Resource Center, there is urgent and imperative need for it to continuously pull qualified civilian intellectuals and relevant fields at the Nigerian Army Resource Center. I therefore expect to see students in the Nigerian Army Resource Center a pulling of intellectual resource built from qualified and relevant on in house personnel intellectuals, especially professors on sabbatical leave or leave or absent from their universities, retired professors who can be hired on renewable contract basis as long as they remain productive, retired military officers also hired on renewable contract based as long as they also remain productive. I'm happy with the attendance today and we have a lot of professors whom are uh, very, very much forward looking and indeed we look forward to your immense contribution in this regard. These highly developed intellectuals can be engaged from within and outside Nigeria as much as resources can allow. And only where such expertise is not available in Nigeria, this intellectual outfit should be well structured for effect, efficiency and social harmony. For example, the director of research should be a retired professor of executive direct or of executive director status. This will have three advantages. Namely, he will be permanent for the contract period of say three to four years, which may be renewed. This will make for continuity. B, he and his presence can attract research grants to the center and Major generals retired or savvy will feel more comfortable operating under him than under a serving uh, junior rank. But notwithstanding, the most important element is the qualification. There is no doubt that this new outfit and its functions will require dedicated funds to meet the desired expectations, even though at national military uh, level there is little fund for research and development. And the Army Hakota will strive to provide research funds for three years, after which the research funds will scale down to 50% for another two years. Thus, after five years, the Nigerian Army Resource Center should be able to stand on its own, attracting research and capacity building funds from Nigeria and outside, and generating enough funds from its own activities. These are quite fundamental, and I believe so far so good. We will continue to encourage this center to have its maximum capacity in terms of the intellectual coordination and indeed in the research areas. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor and privilege that I have delivered this first lecture at this major Nigerian Army Resource Center lecture series. I want to thank you most sincerely for your attention. God bless.